Hey, my name's Julie, Faye Fan Balzer, and I love art supplies. So today I'm playing around with a product called Easy Marble, and I'm actually using it on camera for the first time. You'll see my real reactions and how I actually feel about the product. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to try out the Easy Marble kit. Um, it says, creating marble effects easier than ever before, drip dip done. These high gloss marbling paint offers various ways of creating dip marble effects on eggs, baubles, etc. Made of glass, plastic, polystyrene, and wood, just one paper, silk, yada, yada, yada. It says it's not washable. Um, and then there are instructions in the brochure. So let's see. So this is the contents of the box. These are some extra um, colors. But this is what actually comes inside the box. It's really well packaged. Uh, here you go. Ugh. So here are all of the bottles. Dun, 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 dun. So there's no instructions. I sort of thought there would be a brochure. Oh no, there is a brochure. <laughs> look more than once. So here is the brochure. Um, it obviously has some projects and then, oh good, it has instructions in a million different languages, including English. And you can see um, it has picture instructions as well. And I will just mention um, it's in um, Deutsch or German first because it's a German company. So let me read the instructions and we'll get going. So I have a container and I'm filling it with just regular cold water and it doesn't say to shake or anything so my impulse is to shake. Okay so you open up the bottle and you can see it's not like a big open neck bottle it has a little droplet so if I turn the bottle upside down oh nothing happens oh but if I do that it does. So I guess shake, shake, shake it. Okay, it's very transparent and I can smell alcohol. It smells like alcohol right now. Um, I've done some traditional marbling, which is a real, oh, it's all over my fingers already, which is a real pain to set up. So I'm very curious to how this is gonna be. It's not easy to control where everything is going, but maybe that's a good thing. Let's see if I can get it right in the center there, ish. Maybe. Hmm, I think this may be more of a random than deeply controlled moment, but I can live through that. And now, let's see. Okay, maybe I do have to shake them because this looks like it's separated almost, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try shaking the same one that I just used and see if it's a different, oh yeah, came out totally different. Okay, so yes, shake them. I'm gonna remember that, now I have to shake them all. Shake, 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 shake. And... How much is too much? I guess we should stop there. It's kind of a primary palette. <clears throat> so now I have a wooden skewer. Whoa. Whoa. I, it, this is cool. It's like a skin. It's like attaching itself actually to the skewer. I don't know if you can see that. So obviously I want to wipe that off. And maybe, maybe I should have used something metal. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely attaching itself to the skewer. So this is definitely feels different from traditional marbling, which I've done. Um, still super duper cool, like unbelievably super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try, I just have a small piece of deli paper. 
So I think I remember that you're supposed to like put down one end and then the other. Let's make sure it's making contact everywhere. And then let's see if I can pull it up successfully. Holy, I almost said a bad word. Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, I'm sure that I just blew out the speakers on your computer, but OMG, that was so easy. Oh, that's the coolest thing ever. Oh my God, this is so awesome. experiments of various kinds printing on different surfaces of all kinds and one of the things that I wanted to show you that I discovered is kind of a way to rescue your artwork I think it's really <clears throat> I think it's really cool and fun um, so I'm just putting a bunch of color into my bath here, which I've used about a million times. I've even sprayed alcohol in here and done all kinds of things. And it's holding up just fine. So I might add a little more red. I think what I've noticed is the first color that you put in is the color you actually kind of see the least. So let's skewer this around. I've also learned that you don't need to be careful and you just need to kind of swirl stuff around. I also, I guess I might as well show you this too, um, you can, even after you've swirled, add in some more color and then swirly do again or leave the big pebbles. Whatever you want. You can do anything you want. So I have some tags here that have stuff on them. None of them are great or exciting. So I'm actually going to basically like overprint them, over dye them, over marble them. I don't know how you would um, put it. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of jelly paper to catch all of the extra stuff that's in the bath. And if there's any stuff even at the edges, I have this tag that I've been using. I just kind of dip it and um, whatever's in there clings to the edges. So now let's go ahead and pick up this piece of jelly paper, which has caught everything that was laying around there. And now each of the tags, oh, it made those numbers look so much better, right? And let's see how this one went. Ooh, okay. So this one, because it had the big black area, probably because I didn't put any white in here, you still see the big black area, but still cool what happened. And now the last one, very cool. So this is like kind of, you can see the pattern through. Let me hold this really close. You can see the pattern through, but you can also see on top of it something more interesting and now this is a much cooler tag and ready for something else so I think this is a really fun idea to put it over some existing stuff obviously black shows through all the way and other colors less so it's not neat you guys I'm so in love so I thought I'd try and experiment with these buttons these are polymer clay buttons so I'm just going to swirl my paint my easy marble around and now I'm going to drop all the buttons in and then I'm going to take this piece of jelly paper which is pretty well used and drop it on top and I'm going to pick up the edges with my little pickup tag so paper looking pretty good getting kind of covered i like the way the layering looks and <laughs> so cool so i mean first of all the paper backing obviously looks fantastic but you can see that the buttons also took 
right? The easy marble. So now I have marbled buttons. I think that's so neat. So I have this um, neck piece, which I halfway painted and I'm going to try putting it in. I want to try to keep the clasp out. I'm going to put a piece of paper in. And clean up the edge here. And let's pull that out. You can see how pretty that marbling is. Oh my gosh, I love it. And now. Oh, how cool is that? It turned out amazing. So, I have some rocks here, and I thought I would just see what happens if we drop that through. Does it make contact long enough? I don't know, but I'm going to use a piece of paper now to clean up. Isn't it funny that this is the cleanup? And of course, I'm going to clean up the edges, get all of that good stuff. I've seen people um, wipe it away with paper towel, but that feels like a waste. So we're going to clean that up. Take this. Ooh, the cleanup is pretty darn spectacular. Look at that. I love the gold. And now... It looks like these did get marbled. Oh, how cool is that? These are my beautifully marbled rocks. Those are amazing. The gold is just killer on here. I love this. So I probably want to do the other side too, but that is amazing. So I love everything that I made all of these beautiful papers. This is where I sprayed alcohol and you can see that it creates little dots, which I thought was really cool. Um, this is several different layers, which I think is cool. Just amazing. This is like all the colors have been added. Um, sometimes with the crease that I had in the paper, it caught it, but just beautiful paper after paper after paper I love I just I, I'm I'm totally in love with this marbling kit I was did not have particularly high expectations um, this is actually just a scrap piece that I used to avoid some stuff these over dyed or over marbled tags I think are fabulous they just look so inviting this is actually over embossing powder over like acrylic and stenciling. I like how this one turned out with the marbling over the black acrylic over stamping ink again over stamping. This was just like a miscellaneous mishmash of stuff and now it's sort of cool and mysterious. Um, the tags, these are black tags. Okay. So they started just as black tags and you can see that you can really see the gold and the silver and the other colors are a little more muted but the gold and the silver pop like crazy on the black um the buttons were absolutely fantastic rocks you guys i marveled on rocks i think that's i think that's amazing and i think that they're beautiful and i don't think that they need like a finishing maybe you could put a sealer on them but it doesn't seem like it needs it and again the gold is gorgeous and then this was that pre-made um i had done some stitching on it necklace and wow it's just across this area that was stitched it's gorgeous it's seamless like i'm a huge fan i would say i can't imagine that why you wouldn't want to try the easy marble i think it's I think it's awesome. So again, this is um, Easy Marble. It's from Marabou and you can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link for the video so that you can easily get it, but really fantastic stuff.
I'm a fan.